here with the purple <laughs> yes i have to do it all right um what's your name what'd you play how'd it go man this is top eight you had to play the yellow on it was gonna be on stream in top eight yeah 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 uh, so my, my name is avery sukenik i'm brother of the yellow uh, teletubby or tinky winky uh t no you're lala i'm tinky winky whatever uh obligatory field center um yeah so we played fire kings we basically tried to play identical lists although our lists are a little bit different okay well let's dive right into it bro let's right. see it uh, engine, uh, this is semi-standard. I don't think you play three of this, at least in Fire King, because you have an actual engine that you can play with That's versus definitely. pure. Uh, I probably honestly would cut this to one if I had other deceptions, but we do have, we do now from the boxes. Uh, so we play those, we play Snake Eye cards. Uh, versus the uh, <laughs> Lala, uh, this card kind of sucked for me today. I kept drawing it going second, it was kind of dumb. But uh, this card's necessary for the grind game, especially for the FK mirror. Uh, you really need this, as I, I learned today. Um, uh, targets for the engine, we play OSS, we play Deception. This should definitely be a, a two or three. And then hollowed. Uh, I agree with Lala. Uh, this is bait. Uh, this just got ogre, and then I normaled Ulfenix, and then it was game. Um, other engine requirements: uh, three bonfire. This can probably be two because the deck is currently at 44. It's a little too much, but uh, it's not going to affect your consistency too much. You draw poplar anyway, so you don't you can't combo with it. And then yeah, this is the best card. Uh, not just because it's a normal summon, but the uh, other effect to summon a. Uh, uh, OG from deck is pretty good, lets you go into rank 8s, um, and then under engine requirements, Ponyx, uh, targets for Ponyx, and uh, we both opted to play Skyburn, Skyburn was really good, at least for me, uh, I did not brick on it as much as Lala, and then uh, the best uh, Fire Kings are these ones, uh, you play 3 Kirin, at least in this deck, uh, there's no reason not to play this card, this card's insane, uh, Ulkanix plus this is 4 bodies automatically, that plays through Ash. Um, yeah. Uh, Non-engine. Uh, this is probably the part where I was most unhappy with. So we have three Ash. Ash is also good with the rest of the engine. Uh, three Droll because it's a case tournament so you don't know what you'll, you'll run into. Uh, Ogre, which always Ogre Deception, so it was good. I don't have the Burb, uh, so I have Jelly, and this was okay. I always got Ashed. <laughs> um, uh, this card was the best card in my deck. If I had six copies of it and it was legal, I would play it. Um, yeah, and then this card sucked. Uh, I cited it out every single game. Uh, the problem with Imperm is, especially at like a local event like this, is it seems in theory good, but if you're top decking and they've already full combo, this usually isn't enough anyway, and apparently against Millennium it's not enough either. Um, Fair. so, uh, extra deck, uh, we play this guy, this guy's good, these are spellcasters, but they don't let you summon them. Uh, and then uh, other Link 2s you can summon off of IP, uh, Phoenix, uh, SP, these cards are good. Uh, this card is broken in this deck. Uh, this should definitely have been at 2. It didn't come up, but like theoretically it's just good to have it 2 in this deck. If you're playing pure, you can't fit it because of the Fiendsmith stuff. Uh, this is also the best card in this deck because of the setup you can set with IP and uh, Kieran. Uh, I didn't play uh, Raging Phoenix because I never need it for the OTK because the Fire King cards are so big. But you need this to out like weird stuff like uh, Melodious cards, just to put them face down and then Princess Pop. So you can still play this because you go into this and then this. And it's still basically game without Raging Phoenix. Uh, local events, so Tempai. This is a Tempai's a buy with this card. Uh, this card's good. This card's also good. Uh, this card, I only used it once. You have to, we want to be really careful because, especially in the mirror, you don't want to summon this card if you don't have to, because if they mill uh, Garunix, you're going to lose again. Uh, and these cards almost... Uh, this card uh, got summoned a lot. This card never got summoned. Um, but they never they only got summoned like twice anyway. Uh, but they were good. Bait. They did the job. Yeah, they, they are bait. They are bait. <laughs> Uh, format defining uh, for time, but it never happened. Uh, going first, call by. Uh, this is another difference between the list. I just hate this card. Going second, it doesn't do anything. Um, like if the idea is you're beating a hand trap, you're going neg one on a hand trap from their hand, and they have full combo, so you still lose. Uh, for back row, two cosmic, 
And then for going second, especially into U Bell, uh, Forbidden Droplet. And this can combo with uh, like impermanent stuff, so you can theoretically have like uh, three negations. Uh, these cards were amazing. Uh, <laughs> I did see my side today. Uh, so this, especially into DDG in the mirror, is pretty much game if you have any follow up. And this against Tempai is very good. Um, and then going second targets for Thrust were Talents and Duster. I never got to see this, it's probably okay. Um, but this card is really good. And then, this was probably the best card in my deck, but I didn't want to main it because I was afraid of the conflict with Impulse. This in the grind game, especially in the FK mirror, or any Snake Eye mirror, is just so good because of the resolution effects. Like, Grunix summon, you can just banish the Grunix face down and they can't kill you. Uh, very good in the grind. Uh, yeah, that's the list. Well, congratulations, man. Your list looks sick. Um, Fire King is so good right now. Yeah, 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 so good. We've seen so much Fire King recently, so yeah, yeah. People should play it. I want more mirrors. Any shout outs before we go? Uh, shout out to Da Vinci, uh, the yellow uh, Teletubby. Uh, shout out to Pearson, who uh, didn't want to dress up as a Teletubby, uh, but helped a lot with testing. Shame, bro. <laughs> um, David Brennan. Shout out to people from my locals uh, in Virginia who helped me play test, uh, my local testing group. Uh, yeah.